Hello, this is Mr. Eve G. And I'm Zombie Cat. And this is our review of the Star Wars Black Series 6 inch scale Ray with Speeder Jakku in parentheses. So there's the package or box, and it's very similar to the Luke with Speeder. It's got the little blueprints up there. And I've got the cool picture of the speeder flying really fast. You can tell because there's lines. I know, that's what lines mean. <laughs> Either that or just like spider webs or... I don't know Butt what. Butt floss. <laughs> yeah. And there's a picture of the figure on it. On the speeder. And there's a picture of the figure peeking through the window with crooked goggles. And various accessories. Which is cool because I kind of wish that stuff came with the original release. And there's a picture of the speeder by itself. Then on the side, there's a picture of Ray with the goggles on. And on this side, this is number three. I guess it's number three vehicle. On the back, more pictures of the speeder and Ray and things that it can do. And over here, there's a description of the speeder. And then a description of Ray. Well, let's do. Oh, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> yeah! Top's got more blueprints. Schematics. Schematics, whatever. I think it's, I'm not sure, but I think it's only blueprints if it's for like a building. Whatever. Okay. I could be wrong, though. Let's open this. So when you take it out of the box, there it is. It's all strapped in with the little rubber bands. And she just kind of falls out on her face. She already did. <laughs> but I did this on Luke Speeder, so I'm doing it with this one. Clip, 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 clip. You break it. Clip, and it falls to its doom. But yeah, just easy snips. Hey, there's still another one. Test, there we go. Okay, we'll get this out of here. There's everything out of the package. She comes with some junk she's collected to stick in there. A little weird clear base. It comes with her little stick that's kind of bent. A little mask to go over her mouth and nose. Backpack. These little directions to tell you what the hell to do with this. And the speeder. Oh, and her. Now the junk. At first, I thought this was the peg that went in there, and I'm like, I still break it, you're gonna get that in you. But actually, I had it upside down. It goes like this. Shut a can. Oh, this thing doesn't quite want to. Doesn't want to reach. There we go. I think I got it. And then after you do that, you pull the net up. It has. It's like a real net, like a little real strap on it. You can go up onto this hook up there. Uh, I can't reach. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> oh, got that one easily. Okay, let's try this one again. Come on, you little shithole. There we go. Look at that. Looks pretty cool. I'm glad they used a real net and not like plastic because I would have been shit. Mm. And it looks like this panel opens up to reveal some crappy looking engine. That's cool. I mean, it's cool that it's in there. I just. It's not like super amazing looking. And there's our speakers. <laughs> At least that's what they look like. <laughs> and oh, yeah, there's the spot where the base goes. Arrgh! So that's cool. So you can kind of pose it in different ways, make it tilt. That's really cool. Ooh, more panels. Ooh, more engines. <laughs> what? Is this whole thing open? Holy crap! Ah! That's <laughs> what the instructions are for. I knew. I that. didn't really look at them. That's a whole giant engine in there. <laughs> so you can make it look like this ain't working properly. I think I need to fix it. Or, or where's my stick? <laughs> I think I I fixed it now. Put this back on. Let's go! 
Okay, I did something that wasn't in the directions because Omicot thought that the net didn't go down further far enough, and I don't think it did. At bottom peg, I stuck through one of the holes of the net, and it, it does look more like it's the junk's hanging in there. Yeah, because if you look at before, the net was kind of like over here, and it looked like the junk would first fall off the bottom of it. Yeah, but that's a good idea. It looks much better. And what is this? Just like Luke ran into something with his speeder, she did too. Man, he's these bad Jedi drivers. See, they're saying she's not. Lots of people say she's not Luke's daughter, but man, she's running into shit just like him with her little desert speeder. <laughs> maybe they, maybe they both have had a few DUIs. Yeah. <laughs> That's why she's running from everybody because she's like, no, don't take my license away. <laughs> Uh, so what up, cousin? Is do? It looks like there's a lot of articulation. Like these little things, these little speaker things. <laughs> They're not speakers, but they just look like speakers. They can move around. I didn't notice in the movie that ah! her seat looks like a English saddle. Wait, I'm not at the seat. Okay. I didn't notice in the movie that her seat actually looks like an English saddle. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And these little things in the back, what are they called, rudders or something? I don't know. I look like a fucking pilot. I don't know. <laughs> rudders might be in boats. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a pilot or flaps. or captain. You know, the flaps move around. And then what about these? These can be adjusted. Little foot pedals. Handlebars can be adjusted. So this thing can do some cool stuff that I didn't expect. I thought it would just be a solid thing that didn't do nothing. But stick right on it. I really like it, but I do have one major complaint. What's that? It's not the right color. Well, it's close though. It should be considerably darker. Yeah, maybe a little bit darker, yeah. But I still really like it. Mm -hmm. It's just not the right color. I do like it. And I always thought, I don't know why, but it reminded me of a refrigerator or something when I always seen it. But then someone told me that a lot of people say it looks like a popsicle, and now I cannot unsee that. It, yeah, and it, then you told me, and now I can't unsee it. <laughs> is that like bad or something? <laughs> <laughs> Especially because the two things coming out, it's like yeah. one of those popsicles with the two sticks. It really does look like a popsicle. <laughs> There's memes, I guess, that show it, showing her riding popsicles, and it, it, does, <laughs> yep. it looks like that. What is this? You got a little piece of string hanging from this. I don't know. Just to tie stuff there in case you need to tie something. See, at first glance, it's like, that thing's plain, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on with this. I mean, I like that, that little thing there. That looks like some nice worn damage. I don't even know if it's a paint or a sticker. I'm guessing it's like a sticker. Decal. But it looks good. Back here, too. I like that. There's like little scuff marks up here, which look pretty good, and all along the bottom, make it look like it's been used. It's dirty. Did they really need to put their stupid information right there? They're dicks. That is dumb. I was like, what is that marking? Oh. Have for all. Yeah, couldn't they put that like on the bottom or like right there or somewhere where you're not going to see it? Dickheads. Or even on the bottom of the base. Like, what? Why? Right there? Dickheads. At least it's not that visible no, from the distance, but, but it's still stupid. Yeah. But there's a lot of detail on this thing. All these little, what would you call them, rivet or grooves or whatever, and then the rivets and bolts, whatever they are. A little texture on that thing right there it looks pretty good. Looks like it's supposed to be like a little grill area. Like a vent up here. The vent's a little off because when I guess when they glue this together, it's just a little bit off. Be nice if it was straight, but it's not that noticeable. Got the little clear window thing there. And then there's the dent. It looks pretty cool. And then one thing I really like about the front grill is them little dents in it. Mm hmm. <laughs> it looks awesome. They did a good job on that. There's that side. Doesn't look as nice as the other side. So if we display this, it's definitely going to be from that side with their junk hanging in. Oh, it. Yeah. it just looks better. This side's just an afterthought, I think. It's too plain. That's mm. probably why that the whole side comes off. Yeah, so it gives it something neat. 
I do kind of wish this looked a little better because it it looks too plasticky. I wish it looked a little more metal. I mean, it looks good up here, mm -hmm. but then down here it looks kind of I don't know. Just it looks like the junky weapons that a lot of the Hasbro and a lot of Hasbro Black Series and Marvel Legends have been coming with. It looks like they look like that, where it's just kind of like eh, doesn't look that great. But it's not that bad overall. It's good. The whole thing. I mean. That's cool back there. Got a little something <laughs> strapped to the back. Blanket or something. I don't know. Like see controls. There's like some stuff up on the dash there. Some controls in there. So the thing is pretty detailed. Um, I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I like it. Oh, and there's like all these. The like, darkening. Yeah, yeah, like there's burn marks there. Cause she's shooting out some some hot tunes from her speakers, <laughs> and then that is cool. Like it's weird that they made the base like like what is this clear supposed to be? Yeah, it's like shaped like sand. It's not flat, so why is it clear? Yeah, I don't know. She just she doesn't live on an island of clear sand. No, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, if you really wanted to, you could leave the the part that sticks up clear and paint the rest of it. Yeah. But, yeah, I really like it. Yep. Oh, and her junk, her, when her junk's not in the net, it looks kind of crappy, but once the net's on it, I think it looks all right. Because at first I thought, that junk looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a weird thing to say. But. When I first got it out, too, it was the underside of it, which wasn't really painted. Yeah, it's sticking up, but it looked really bad. I do really like the net, though. I like the netting, and then they got two different colors of straps attached to it. And that's pretty cool. Like she just kind of hodgepodged it together. Yeah. <laughs> and now we can go over the Ray figure, because it actually is different than the other Rays that were released. Now, I've seen this in store. Like, I ordered this one off of Toys R Us online, so I didn't get to pick mine in person. But the ones that I've seen in store look pretty damn good. When I got mine, I thought, oh, the goggles are on crooked, now just adjust them. But it's glued in place, you can't adjust it. But really, it's not crooked, it's just the green paint is crooked, if you look real close. The mask, the sculpt is straight, but the green paint is off. So I'm going to have to, like, touch the paint up. Or take it back, but I think I'd rather just touch it up myself instead of dealing with taking it back. Yeah, it shouldn't be that hard. But other than that, it looks pretty good. It's like the whole overall head's kind of plain. Be nice if there's just maybe a little more paint there, but it's painted on her little goggles and the little string. So that's cool. Got the lips on nice. These are supposed to be stormtrooper helmet goggles. Like she cut them out of a stormtrooper helmet or something. But it's kind of hard to see in the figure. But in the movie, it's a little more obvious. Especially since it's painted green. Yeah. <laughs> Makes it look a little goofy. Then this is a hard... Well, not hard, but I mean it's like... Plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. But it's flexible. Then you got this cloth going down the front, which is different from the regular release. And she's got gloves on, which is different from the regular release. And this little pouch back here. That's cool. And I like... <laughs> yeah. She comes with this little mask, what she wears in the beginning. This could fit over her nose like that, just kind of pops on. I'm not sure how it's staying on, but it is. With the, the head wrap and the goggles, I think I like her better with the mask on, too. You do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. She completes almost, the look. Almost looks like she's a Tuscan Raider or something. And then she's got her backpack, which has these little straps, so you can get them on there. But look, she's got little, I guess, more junk that she collected attached to it. So that's pretty cool, little backpack. And there's a backpack on. I like how she has kind of like a shoulder pad thing. But it looks pretty good on her. And so the cat stuck the rod, or stick, staff, whatever the hell that thing's called, into the hooks. 
Because I remember she sticks it on there somehow in the movie and the directions show it going right here. But I can't remember. It's been a while since I watched the movie. I'm just following instructions. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let's try to get her on the speaker. All right. So there she is on there. It wasn't too hard to get on there. She has holes in her feet and there's pegs on the pedals that they can go into. It went in pretty easily. And then her hands went onto the handlebars. Fit on there pretty good. And it looks good. It looks like she's riding it. Leaning forward just like she does. I don't know if maybe she should be sitting down more, but uh, her knees can it move like more. Looks like she should be sitting back a little bit further. Well, I'm pretty sure you can do it because there, she has double jointed knees. Yeah. Could try it. So that looks really cool. I like it. You should compare it to the Luke Speeder. I haven't actually seen that out of the box yet. Well, yeah. Zombie Cat didn't wasn't in the review for this. Someone asked where you were in it. I don't know what you. I was in the basement. You're hardly ever in the Star Wars reviews. Every time people are like, where's Zombie Cat? She's never in a Star Wars one. Well, hardly ever. Only if it's a figure I'm like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but, Which, I mean, the Luke one is cool, but Luke's not really my favorite character. <laughs> I like his ship, though. He doesn't have his hands on the handlebar at the moment, but... Yeah, you can see her sits way up further. His also looks like a popsicle now that I've seen the other one as a popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> His is like one of those rocket popsicles. I wonder who's winning a race. Because in the movies, they both seem to be pretty fast. But I don't know. And see, like, they both got the big dent in the front. Banging into shit. Drunks. So here's the two figures together. As you can see, when she's out collecting junk, she's taller. And Tanner. But, yeah, like you can see, like, she has this cloth on here, real cloth, and then right here, too, which is different than this one. And I kind of like the real cloth. It doesn't fold as realistically as this one, but... I think some of the string needs a little snipping, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she yeah. loves strings. So, uh, there you can see, uh, strapped arms are actually different. Seems like they could have used the same sculpt, but they didn't. But yeah, like this one has gloves on. There's more texture on her little boots. So I would have assumed they would have used some of the same parts, but they don't, I don't think. It looks like it might be all new stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of cool. And I think I did mention that you can't take this off. The mask doesn't come off. But, yeah. That's cool. I like it. I like this new version, too. <laughs> what if she can, what if she can put this on? She can. It just snaps over the nose. Now I guess. she's a ninja. Or she's afraid of getting the bird flu. <laughs> or SARS. <laughs> she's. I think she's cosplaying as like Scorpion. <laughs> SARS Wars. What is it? He says. Get over here. Yeah. <laughs> Get over here, but don't give me SARS. Because this is SARS Wars. <laughs> SARS Wars. <laughs> Episode Bird Flu. And there they are next to the new Last Jedi Ray in the gray. Not sure how different the articulation will be for this one. Probably a little bit in the head because of this big head wrap thing. But it could turn like that. Or it could go up and down like that. It could turn like that. Oh, what's going on there? I don't know. I don't know what that is. It almost looks like they made a little cut there for articulation, but it doesn't actually do anything. That's weird. It is. Does the mask fit in there? The face mask? Yeah. Is that what you mean? No, this. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I think oh, it has yeah. a little tab. Oh, okay. That, yeah, that is what it's for. <laughs> well, I just thought it snapped into the nose. <laughs> And up at the shoulders. I think the backpack might hinder it a little bit, but no, not really. It's hard to get out of that. Get the fuck out of there, you shithole! <laughs> you shithole! Okay, yeah. Her, this thing kind of hinders it from going up too far. But what do you need her to put her arms up for anyway? And then over here, got a single joint. <laughs> 
There's no 90 degrees that way. This way, almost. <laughs> I think it's been. It's been at the wrist. Hinge joint. Yeah. Breaker. Then at the torso. Ah, oh, that little belt pops off. <laughs> oh no, and then her cloth is. Ah! Ah, what am I seeing? But. You go back and forth like that. So you turn up there. Can't really go back and forward, but you can turn. Then at the hips, so you can do a split leg about that much. Kick out about that much. Double joint techniques. Oh, they do work really well. Is there a cut? Yep, there's a cut there. Then with the hands right there, I can do the little tilly thing. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I painted her goggles better so that they're on straight now. And I think that looks much better. Another thing I did that I didn't expect to happen was when I was painting over the green that was on the goggles, I had to use the tan. And I put it up here lightly. And when you do that, it really brings out the detail in it. Because it looked pretty smooth until I put that paint on there. And there's actually light texture in there. And then down here, you can see the difference here. Just in this little area here I painted, but right here I didn't. So you can see that it actually looks a little different where it's not painted. So, yeah, I kind of wish they just went over it real quick. It makes it look a lot better. Okay, so I really like this speeder and I like the new Ray. I thought I would like it, but I like it better than I thought I would like it when I thought I liked it. <laughs> or something. Wait. When I thought I was going to, I thought I was going to like it, but I like it better than I thought that I would like it. Yeah. I think I said it right that time. <laughs> but it's cool. I really like the net. I like all the little scuffed up details all over it. And the weird articulation that's all over the speeder. And the little panels you can pop open if you wanted to. And I like Ray with her new sculpt and everything and the mask you can put on and I like the cloth the real cloth on it the backpack the junk and the only gripe I have isn't with everybody's because I've seen these in stores and their masks look fine but the one I happen to get in the mail is not painted on she's got cockeyed goggles yeah but <laughs> I'm just gonna fix it myself it can be that hard to do but I really like this set. I think it looks really cool. It's... I think the Ray is just okay. Like, I like her, but she's not fantastic. But I really like the speeder. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I love the way it can wiggle around on the base and do different positions. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice, convenient pizza carrying net. Well, <laughs> uh, well, I'm pretty happy today. Me too. Well, it's Mitch Eversh. And I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. So, uh, um, Ray, do you, uh, you have a, you have a cute boyfriend? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, um, well in that case, I was wondering if, uh, Hey! Would you like to have a ride on my popsicle? Oh, uh, oh, I, I get it. Sorry, I, I, I really thought you were a, I really thought you were a girl, um, I just, uh, oh. My popsicle! Would you like to ride on my popsicle? What the hell did you think I meant by popsicle? Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate! Oh, 